The DOD paid far left news guard, which oddly is used by a lot of centrist, grifting media. Okay, a lot of journalists who are alleged centrists use news guard, and news guard is funded by the DOD. And they were, they were paid to continue to censor the Gateway Pundi and conservative media. NewsGuard claims to be a nonpartisan fact checking organization, but a quick glance at its operations and related social media accounts show an unhinged group of committed DT haters. NewsGuard is a media fact checking company that was started in 2018. They claim to rate websites for reliability. Basically, they're in the business of deciding who is fake and who is not. And they hate pro DT publishers and citizen journalists. The company is supported by DT haters, elites, and media giants. This is ample proof the activists behind NewsGuard are unhinged leftists and anti DTers. Our friends at conservative website 100% Fed Up previously shared information with the TGP that exposes the NewsGuard liberal activists. As we reported earlier, all of the top activists at NewsGuard organizations are virulent DT haters, and then their mission is to destroy DT and conservative websites. Breitbart.com reported on this organization and their goal to demonetize opposing voices online. Oh, financial blacklisting. NewsGuard, a news filtering browser extension, recently partnered with Microsoft and run by neoconservatives, Obizzles, Clinton alumni, and other assorted DT haters. Has advised ad Advisor has advised advertisers to withdraw their businesses from websites on this blacklist of unreliable news websites. A list that includes Breitbart, The Drudge Report, The Daily Mail, and probably The NPC Show. The effect isn't merely to silence pro-DT media, it also ensures advertisers don't market their products to DT voters, causing them to rely less and less on consumers in the heartland and more on progressive consumers who read establishment news sources. In 2019, there was a report by La Court News that revealed conservative sites are twice as likely to be uh, related, uh, like, twice as likely to be rated unreliable as liberal publishers. Today, we found out that the U.S. DOD was using taxpayer dollars to censor conservatives and independent media online. The DOD awarded three quarters of a million dollars to NewsGuard in September of 2021. Matt Taibbi posted. He wrote, some NGOs like the GEC-funded Global Disinformation Index or the DOD-funded NewsGuard not only seek content moderation but apply subjective risk or reliability scores to media outlets which can result in reduction in revenue. Do we want government in this role? Yeah. NewsGuard has consistently attacked the TDP on Rona, HP's laptop, and mandates that have all been proven to be accurate. NewsGuard has never criticized the mainstream media for lying about DT bear collusion, the HP laptop, and Rona and the mandates. So why is the federal government funding this radical censorship outfit? For monies, yeah? For monies. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah guys, six channels, links in the description, subscribe to the ones you want, ring the bell for notifications, same thing on this side, six channels separated by subject matter. Thank you.